It is uh, my pleasure to open the 106th session of the IOM Council. Admittedly, the year has been very challenging. The current refugee and migration crisis that the world is witnessing today has raised anti-migrant sentiments very high. I take this opportunity to commend the European countries which have opened their doors to the refugees and migrants, despite the challenges that they face. Excellencies, I cannot fail to mention and condemn unreservedly the tragic terrorist attacks that occurred in Paris and in Bamako, Mali on 20th November 2015. I remain convinced that limited and restrictive regular migration channels are some of the major drivers of irregular migration. A well-managed migration, global migration, will require that such standards and working principles are maintained, especially with the support of member states. I wish to take the issue of climate-induced migration, which is a challenge that my country and those countries vulnerable to the impacts of climate change now view uh, participation and membership in the International Organization for Migration as being very critical. After many years as an observer, Sao Tome and Principe has finally joined this prestigious organization. The has also expressed Eritrea's readiness to fully cooperate with the body to provide it with all relevant inform information in its possession.